greetings once again from the garden here in the vicarage. Uh, thank you for those of you who offered support and showed concern after my message yesterday about my friend who was so dangerously ill. I'm very pleased to say that this morning and then later about lunchtime we heard really encouraging news. Um, I'm still here, he was able to send a message to one of his sisters. So that's really great and it's made an enormous amount of difference for me to know that many people uh, in the parish in St Andrews and others were praying for my friend and for those who were caring for him. I mentioned yesterday about how difficult it can be to pray in these circumstances when you're most anxious and you're most bewildered by things. And it's at that point that it's the prayers of others that can so often help and carry us. That's part of the point of the church itself, that the prayers of others can help carry our prayers when we find it difficult ourselves. And today I've turned to a wonderful prayer by Thomas Merton, which I'd like to share with you now. A prayer of trust. My Lord God, I have no idea where I am going. I do not see the road ahead of me. I cannot know for certain where it will end, nor do I really know myself. And the fact that I think I am following your will does not mean that I am actually doing so. But I believe that the desire to please you does in fact please you. And I hope that I have that desire in all that I am doing. I hope that I will never do anything apart from that desire. And I know that if, that if I do this, you will lead me by the right road, though I may know nothing about it. Therefore, I will trust you always. Though I may seem to be lost and in the shadow of death, I will not fear you, for you are ever with me and will never leave me to face my perils alone. A wonderful prayer of trust and the absolute certainty that whatever we're experiencing, God will never leave us alone. We will always have him with us. He accompanies us, accompanies us wherever we are and whatever we're going through. And I pray that all of us may grow in that sense of God's accompaniment with us in these difficult days.